All right. More on relationships. First we talked about angles. Now we're going to talk about segment relationships and circles. Definitions. There's a few more here than we had before. Segments of the chord. When two chords intersect in the interior of a circle, each chord is divided into two segments. Tangent segment, a segment that is tangent to a circle at its endpoint. A secant segment, a segment that contains a chord of a circle and has exactly one endpoint outside the chord. Again, these definitions are wordy. Next slide, we got one more definition, but we have an awesome picture drawn by yours truly. That puts the definitions into a picture. An external segment is the part of a secant segment outside the circle. So, tangent segment. It's a segment that starts outside the chord that is tangent to a circle. A secant segment is the segment that starts outside the chord and goes through the circle. External segment is the piece of the secant segment that is outside the circle. So this right here is your external segment. So that puts all those lovely words into a picture. Let's move on to the theorems. Segments of Chords Theorem. Now, we are going to go over three theorems in this lesson. All of them are extremely, extremely wordy. So instead of writing all that down, I think that a picture tells the story a bit more. So this is the secant, uh, not secant, segments of chords theorem, if I can read. So, we have two chords and they're broken up into two segments each. We have this first chord, which is broken into segment A and B. And then we have the second chord, which is broken up into segments C and D. Well, we have a theorem that says if we take the two parts of the first chord and we multiply them together, so A times B, it's going to equal the two parts of the second chord multiplied together, C and D. So if we take those two broken chords, multiply the pieces of one, it'll equal the multiplied pieces of the other. Segments of Secant's Theorem. So we have two secants from this common external point outside the circle here. We have one secant up here that's broken into A and B, where A is the external secant segment of the secant. And then we have there's a lot of S's. And then we have secant that is made up of C and D, where C is the external segment of our secant. Well, what we can do is this. We can take our external segments, multiply them by the sum of the entire secant. When I say the sum of the entire secant, what I mean is that secant AB up here is broken into two parts. We have the external A, and then we have the rest of it in here, which is B. Well, if we want to put them together, we're not going to multiply. We're going to add. So we're going to take the external part, multiply it by the whole secant, which is the A plus B, and it's going to equal the other one's external piece times the whole secant, which is C plus D. Finally, we have the segments of secants and tangents theorem. So in this theorem, we have a tangent and a secant that come from an external point. Our secant is broken up into A and B, where A is the external part. And then we have our tangent C. This is similar to our previous theorem, this first part where we take the external times the whole secant, so the external plus what's left over, but it's going to equal this time the tangent segment squared. So we have A times A plus B equals C squared. 
and those are our segment relationships in circles.